This is video three in a series of All About HPV. Have you been diagnosed with HPV and now you're losing sleep worrying about what cancer you may develop? You aren't the only one. Today I'm going to talk about HPV related cancers. Stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll give you my recommendations of how to prevent some of the HPV related cancers. Hello, Dr. Kathy at your cervix. If you've hung out at this channel at all, you will know that I'm trying to make sense out of women's health care for you so that you can become a healthier you. Today, I will go through five points about HPV-related cancers. Point one, cancers that are leaked to the human papillomavirus are 35% of all penile cancers, which are more common in men that have HIV, 50% of vulvar cancers, 65% of vaginal cancers, 70% of oral cancers, most cancers that are found in the back of the throat, including the base of the tongue and tonsils, are HPV related. These are the most common HPV related cancers in men. 95% of anal cancers, virtually all of cervical cancers are caused by HPV. Cervical cancer is the most common cancer among women linked to HPV. HPV 60, 18, and 45 are the most common HPVs to cause cancer of the cervix. High risk HPV types cause approximately 5% of all cancers worldwide. In the United States, high risk HPV causes approximately 3% of all cases of cancer among women and 2% among men. Point two, HPV is the most common sexually transmitted infection. Don't get it confused, it is not HIV and it's not herpes. HPV is the human papillomavirus. HPV is so common that nearly all sexually active men and women will get it at some point in their lives. Point three, it's not just one virus, but a group of viruses. The viruses are numbered and classified into two main groups according to their affinity to cause cancer low risk to cause cancer or high risk to cause cancer. HPV 6 and 11 cause 90% of the genital warts and they're considered low risk. Roughly 12 to 15 out of the 150 HPV viruses have been identified as high risk, high risk to cause cancer. For most women, the body is able to clear the infection on its own, but sometimes the infection doesn't go away. Chronic or long-lasting infection, especially when it's caused by certain types of high-risk HPV, can cause cancer over time. Point four, if you've been diagnosed with HPV, does that mean you'll have cancer or will get cancer? The answer to that is no. But if you have tested positive for high-risk HPV, make sure you continue to see your doctor for regular checkups. Point five, what are my recommendations for you to prevent you from getting an HPV-related cancer? Most cervical cancers can be prevented by regular screening. Make sure you go and get your pap smear on a regular basis. Most HPV infections that lead to cancer can be prevented with vaccines. Get vaccinated. The new recommendations that came out as of November of 2018 recommend that anyone from the age of 9 to 45 be vaccinated men and women. Now to the howl of hope. It is time to just be happy. Being angry, sad, or overthinking it isn't worth it anymore. Just let things flow. Be positive. In the next video, I will go through how low risk HPV is treated. If you've been diagnosed or know someone else that's been diagnosed with HPV, hit that thumbs up button. If you don't wanna miss any of these videos on HPV, please hit that subscribe button and join the Wolf Pack. And thanks so much for watching.